So it's been a year since we last heard from Paranoid Android ROM team, but now they're back and this time with new features, interactions, and designs. Paranoid Android 6.0.1 is out, so let's take a quick look. So booting up the device, you'll notice an aesthetically pleasing bootloader transitioning into the word AOSPA. Once you boot up, your eyes will gaze onto the amazing wallpaper designed by Hampus Olsen, a visual artist who also happened to create the wallpapers for the OnePlus 2, OnePlus X, and now the OnePlus 3. And he'll continue to design more wallpapers as major updates get released for Paranoid Android. With this ROM comes a new feature called Floating Peak. Basically, it brings back floating window support with more advanced capabilities. So let's say you receive a heads up notification from a text message while you're on Twitter. If you tap on that heads up notification, a floating window of your messenger application will appear on top of your Twitter feed, allowing you to reply to the text message and even see your entire conversation with that person. If you press back, you're right back on Twitter like before. The quick settings panel also has some new modifications. You can long press and drag tiles to rearrange them. If you want to remove a tile, you can long press and drag it to the trash can at the top. To bring that tile back, tap on the plus icon at the top, long press on the tile you want to bring back, and place it onto the main panel. But keep in mind that the second panel is still interactive. You can still toggle the tiles even though they're not on the main panel. When tapping on specific tiles such as GPS, immersive mode, or do not disturb, you will get more options to specify what you want that tile to enable. Now, managing tiles has never been easier. Paranoid Android has also brought back immersive mode, allowing you to hide the notification bar and the on-screen buttons, making any application you open become full screen. Up at the top, the status bar has a new battery icon, which I actually prefer using over the stock battery icon. It's basically a white circular icon that animates in and out every time your phone charges one percentage and gets smaller in size when you're not charging your phone, letting you know how much battery you have left. Also, the fonts for the percentage, time, and icons are the exact same size to maintain consistency. Sometimes, it's the little things that mean the most. Another feature is the all-new on-the-spot controls. You can control preferences with an all-new interface. Unfortunately, the only example currently available to show off is when you pull down the notification shade from the right side, bringing up the on-the-spot panel, asking you whether or not you'd like to enable a quick pull-down. From there, you can see how the menu looks and how different it appears compared to the original Marshmallow pop-up menu. So when a new update is released, no need to look for the new zip file because the ROM includes over-the-air updates. Just go into the settings, about phone, paranoid Android updates, and check to see if there's anything new. Before we move on with more paranoid goodness, definitely check out and download the Amazon App Store by visiting amazon.com slash underground. You can use Amazon coins to buy apps, games, and in-app items, which you can save up to 10%. Let's say you're playing Mobile Strike and you want to buy 600 gold. You can purchase this item with 499 Amazon coins, allowing you to save 24 cents. To buy coins, you can just go into the hamburger menu and choose Amazon Coins. If you want to save even more, you can get 15% coins back on Mobile Strike in-game purchases between June 23rd and June 25th. Check out the links in the description to find out more. Now back to the video. Other minor things to mention is that there's tons of new visual elements such as the icons in the boot menu, CyanogenMod theme engine is supported, it's currently on the latest version of Marshmallow, and new updates will come in steadily throughout the next couple of weeks supporting more devices and bringing in new features. All in all, I have decided to use this ROM as my daily driver as it hasn't given me any problems and it suits me just fine. Battery life is great, it's very stable, smooth, and reliable. I'll leave a link in the description to download the ROM off of Paranoid Android's website. Just keep in mind that only a number of devices are currently supported, so don't be too disappointed if you don't see your device on their list as new updates will continue to support more devices in the future. So that's all you need to know about Paranoid Android's ROM. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found this video to be useful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check out AndroidPolice.com for your latest and greatest news on Android, and I will see you guys in the next one.